Michelle Madonna tells Auntie Donna she chat too much. Just real quick. Auntie Donna, you know some love and real too. You understand? I've always enjoyed um, your, your local comedic ways. And, um, you know, I love your kind and giving nature. That's not going to change. But like the, hu the humanitarian side of you, nobody can take that from you. Charity, the in so where you are concerned. Nobody. You just have this kind and caring and giving nature. I'm a love that about you. I don't think that is going to change because that's why I fell in love with you in the first place because of your kind nature right and i came out and i saw and i stood by your side when i saw persons dragging you and i thought that it wasn't deserving because they were disrespectful towards you they were attack, attacking you personally i don't have a problem with anybody dissecting or scrutinizing your charity or whatever anything with i don't have a problem with that anymore i've moved away from that you understand but what i didn't like i didn't like the disrespect and the degrading the jeering and the mocking and the bullying, bullying. me never like that that's why I came out and I stood by your side. But it was exhausting. So for one whole year, I just leave that alone. I ignore it and just move on. Because it was draining. It do make no sense. You just leave people to do what they want to do. And just move on. Because I saw that you were flourishing. You were progressing. You were looking beautiful. And a lot of us as well, we were start we start to progress and I do one thing. And we just, you know what I'm saying? There was no point me, you know, fighting anymore. Because it's like... We're doing it in vain, in a manner sense, because it's not changing. So like I said, we we'll leave them to it, right? But you know, I've always supported you, you know, me celebrate your birthday, anything, anything with deals or whatever, you know, me have a support you and me have a celebrate you. But Auntie Dana, let me tell you something. You know, in the past, them say, my bias where you are concerned. But in this case, me can be biased. And some people are going to say, me for go because if I never had a whole urine situation, won't come out. Let me tell you something. Urine Miller is um, somewhat, where does it maybe, a, if you want to say, a public figure, right? He's, he's known. So if Urine Miller come, and come out, in the media and do something where no make no sense to me and still now make no sense to me. Me go talk about it. You understand? So whether I'm not indeed affiliated with Auntie Dana, yes or no, there are certain things that goes against everything that I believe in. And what Uren Miller was doing, I don't believe in that. And me never agree with it. And and where Uren Miller is concerned, there's something not right. There's something not right with Uren. You understand? And Auntie Dana, before me get into anything else, me, me, me I go beg you, me I go plead to you. You understand? Me I go warn you. Anytime you take up them people, if you help me, I ask you, screen them. No matter how intelligent they are, no matter how bright, no matter how brilliant, no matter how clever, no matter how good they are with words, screen them. Because you know what? A we the donors, I took up with hard earned money and I send it come give them so that they can you are better than life. But you have to start screening these people, right? Because when they come out and they start talking things, some of the things will die sick. We are going to start crit uh, um, criticize. Because if it you no know, look good and it you no know, sound good, that means there's something nah, something not right. You understand what I'm saying? No. Auntie, why me I go beat you today now? I heard you saying to a gentleman yesterday was it yesterday or day before yesterday or whenever right this gentleman appeared with his child while you were doing your charity work imagine you are doing your charity work you know this gentleman appeared and with his child and you are going to say you are going to ask this man if a jacket how insensitive and disrespectful you are how can you say something like that mm? do you know the consequences of those words you know what can happen so you offended three people and also the public the mother of the child the father of the child and the child and we who were watching 
How could you make those words come out of your mouth? No, because you think it. No, means you have to say it, you know. And that's why when people say you chat too much, don't get, don't get offended. It, it is true. It, this is not, this is not a mistake. You just, you, you blatant, you chat too much, and this is something where you know if you talk. You understand? Sometimes you have to see it. Like on all the other times, I'm going to sit things and leave it alone. No, black girls not sit things and leave it alone. If you're in the public, black girls talk about it. We never come in your house, come take it out. You understand? But in this case, if you see something, and whether the, the, the child lighter or the child darker than the parent, leave it alone because then that even shows say you're ignorant as well because it doesn't mean because the child lighter or darker than the parent you know means that the child is not biologically uh, uh, um, um the parent child um child huh so that even a show proof to you proof to the to the, to the masses you know your ignorance you understand how can you come out publicly a thousands of people watch your live you know right uh, between 30 to 60 a thousand and even more a hundred and a thousand and this is what you're going to say on a live said the picnic a jacket huh uh, oh no you know me because the picnic you know brown or whatever whatever come on so even though me might have never come out in the past me they have to come out to this this i want to run but couldn't honest to god but couldn't turn a blind eye and with Planketarians, we have to be honest with Auntie Dana and tell her the truth. This wasn't a good look. Right? It wasn't a good look, Auntie. What you do, it was wrong on all levels. I am so disgusted. I am so disappointed. Me, me, it hurt me to the core when me hear you say that. It hurt me. Because these things are something where if you observe something or you're not sure about something, you, you shut your mouth. Right? And you go behind closed doors. This is like round table talk, kitchen table talk. But you don't utter it. Oh, you dare not utter it out of your mouth. Remember that you are a brand ambassador. You're a brand ambassador, you know? Huh? You have such huge following. You know, say come with with a brand and the em ambassador. It comes with responsibilities. Come on, you're letting yourself down. You're letting those companies down, right? I mean, I want nobody to come and say, "Okay, me a beat anti that I don't," because that's how the big the biggest thing. When I come and say, "Oh, oh, me bad man, me jealous," I'm yeah. No, no, no. Remember, say as somebody where me me love and admire. You understand? As somebody where me champion for, me can't always a champion for Auntie Dana day in, day out, day in, day out. And when time she do something wrong, me can't come out and say nothing about it. Where me might have seen certain things, and me know if you deal with it behind the scenes, yes. But this one, me have to address this one publicly, Auntie. Me have to address this one. Me eager for this one, and me can't sweep it under the rug. And me can't polish it up, and me can't fix it up. Because God has got to punish me for that. Because it would be unfair. It would be unfair. Mr. Meshuk, I was speechless. Mr. You really said that? You really said that to the father? Hmm? Okay. Oh, Jesus. My heart. My heart, my feel, auntie, my feel, my feel one way. My emotional, I could have. I could have gone into details, yeah? But me I'm going to leave it because if I go into details, people are going to tell me I have an agenda. I mean, no to God, so I have no agenda because you don't know, see. Whilst you're out there and I do good for the people of Jamaica, I'm going to always stand in your corner. You understand? I'm going to always, that now go change. I'm going to always give the support, the ratings, and the respect. But the one year, the, this one where you do this hurt me, Auntie. This, this hurt hurt me to the core this your speech is very very hurtful right i mean i know how you are gonna fix up this one but you have to go try some some way somehow to address this matter right you have to go come out i don't know if you come out and did you know if you do a public apology or anything like i don't know i don't know if you not just laugh it off i don't know you understand because Truth be told, I come, come across it, pan one, one of them. Because me, 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 
we and Tobacco, we know they're on the same time, and we can't sit down and watch out such long lives, especially when they're dead live. And at the page, we see them screen record and put it over there. And I said, this can't real. It can't real. You overstep your mark and your boundary. Hmm? You don't know you're limited. Right? And for those who don't, we well, come and correct me upon this limited. If you don't know, no, 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 it's a joke over on Instagram and TikTok. So, no, for all the older folks who never come and say it's not, it's not limited. It's. Oh gosh, anyways. <laughs> but, come on. You shouldn't do it, Auntie. You shouldn't allow something like that to come out of your mouth.